Apple's Vision Pro is scheduled to be released in early 2024, so that's actually not that far away anymore compared to when it was announced. And it actually got me thinking that Apple Vision Pro might be able to replace my MacBook or even my iPad in my Apple ecosystem. So Apple Vision Pro has the ability to take macOS into the real world, essentially, through Mac Virtual Desktop. So it'll take anything you have on your Mac and bring it into the 3D world that only you can see and it'll allow you to make more desktop and use your Mac apps basically freely in AR and VR. So there's also already some Mac apps that have been brought over to Apple Vision Pro such as Messages, Freeform, Mail, Keynotes, and there are also a bunch more other compatible apps and uh, developers are also able to just click a button and make their app Vision OS compatible with very minor adjustments to the code of the app. And there's also the App Store, as I just said, where all these apps can be downloaded if there's not. And you could probably find a compatible app, as many companies are going to want to try to probably make their apps compatible for Vision OS, especially if it may replace our iPhones, our iPads, or even our Macs, and you'll just have more users on your user base. And you can also pair Bluetooth accessories. So if you want to pair a keyboard or a mouse to Vision OS, so as Apple shows on their website, you can use a Magic Trackpad or a Magic Keyboard pair that to the Apple Vision OS and use that as a way to interact with Apple Vision OS minus the pinching and using your hand input. And it's also extremely private which is another reason why I think this could replace my Mac or my iPad because only I can see what goes on on my Apple Vision Pro so it's kind of like that of a privacy screen protector except only except it's for your eyes only and it's locked through through optic id which is basically when it scans your eye to make sure that it is you and you are the person like logging to the vision os and there's also a guest mode if you want to let other people use it but it's not to the extent of a normal vision os access like yours it's not like where you can just give someone your password and they get in it doesn't seem to be like that but we'll have to see how that finds out there's also 3D FaceTime, where the Apple Vision Pro will make a cutout of you, essentially, an avatar of you, and it'll allow that to be displayed while you're on FaceTime. So it'll allow for a more connected feel, because the people you're talking to will be like floating around you in these kind of windows, so it's almost like you have the window into what they're doing, which is pretty cool. And... Another thing is the screen can be as large as you want, because if you want to drag it and make the screen bigger, you can also do that as it is essentially wherever you can see. So you can most likely see a lot of places. So you can then just drag it, drop it, and it gets bigger. And it also has this ability to make to take over the entire environment. So instead of being like essentially this transparent environment, you can make it that your Apple Vision Pro is anywhere. So you can be in the woods, you can be at a lake, you can be really wherever, which is extremely cool. And a feature that I don't think many of us saw coming because it essentially takes over your traditional environment and can become anything you want it to be. It also has this cool ability called EyeSight where it'll allow your eyes to, shy, to be able to be seen through Vision Pro. So it's essentially going to be like a, it's a screen on the outside that will show your eyes through the screen and it'll allow other people to see essentially your eyes so you can still be connected with the real world and when using Vision Pro, if you look away from the Vision Pro, Vision OS operating system, you'll be able to see everything that's going on around you. So, as Apple showed in their WWDC announcement video, when someone kicks over a soccer ball and the kid comes running at you, you can then look over and you can see all that happening, so you're not completely blindsided. Now, if you are in one of those environments, as I mentioned earlier, you may not be able to see that. But, again, right now we only know what Apple has told us, we don't know how it'll play out in the real world. But I am actually very curious to see how Vision OS handles in the real world as it only has two hours of battery with the magic battery, as Apple calls it. And I'm very curious to see how that plays out. But we got a little ways to go. We have the September event where we're gonna get our new iPhones first and then maybe an October one with some new Macs. But there's definitely gonna be more mention about Vision Pro throughout the year. But I wanna hear your thoughts. So if you wanna leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about Vision Pro and what may be coming in the future and how the future of the Apple ecosystem may not be these seven devices anymore. It may just be this one headset. Uh, you let me know with a comment down below because who knows where this is gonna go. And while you're down there, if you wanna leave a like and subscribe, I'd also greatly appreciate that. But I want you to remember, today's a good day to make a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.